This was the flashpoint on a night of protest. A young black man, shot in the crowd, critically injured, now fighting for his life. It inflamed the demonstrators, the target of their anger, the police, who were immediately blamed. Murder. The police shot the, police shot the guy that was protesting. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. The police insist they did not fire on any protester. We've been out here a long, long, long time. The evening started with a large, peaceful demonstration. Hundreds from all over Charlotte gathered in a city park. Their intention to mark the fatal shooting of Keith Scott by a police officer a little over 24 hours before. This is not okay. I'm a young African-American male and I want my justice and I'm here to fight for it. I'm tired of seeing African-American men get killed every day. I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a grandmother, and I am t I, I, I worry if my children are going to make it back home. Hands up! Hands up! But as the protesters marched through the streets, they eventually came across a line of police in riot gear. They would go no further. The demonstrators were warned to leave or be arrested. People refused to back away. Police fired tear gas, pushing them back. They were met by missiles. This has been the pattern over the last few hours. We suddenly see parts of the crowd rushing away, the police moving in to snatch some of those who have been protesting and then taking them back beyond police lines. This has been going on for a number of hours with tear gas being used to push the crowds back. Many in the crowd appealed for calm, worried their message was being lost. Well, we can't fight in the street. We can't win in the street. We can't win in the street. But their voices drowned out by a continuous angry roar. For several hours, the police continued their tactics. The protesters scattered and then came back. Across the city, fires were reported, windows smashed, roads blocked. The governor declared a state of emergency and he called up the National Guard, the reserve military force. It gives them more people to put on the street to try to restore calm in a city that is deeply divided. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Charlotte, North Carolina.